Hi, this is Gary Fong at Big White Ski Resort, and I'm going to do a demonstration on how to do autofocus uh, for sports. And one really cool way to do that, of course, is skiers, because I'm going to show how we can track a subject, even though they're interweaving in and out between uh, other subjects. So we'll go over to this, uh, my camera right here, and you'll see that I've got a bunch of skiers coming down the hill. So. Uh, up on the top left, you'll see that my motor drive is on high, which is, of course, uh, where we want it to be. I'll just show you that. And this is continuous shooting high. I've got also, uh, this is at high plus. Okay, so this is the fastest. And just listen to how fast it is. Okay, so that's fast. I just took about six shots. Okay, so watch this. What you're seeing right here is it's activating the phase detection focus points, okay? So those little bits that go by like that, that's phase detection. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and focus on this one kid. And once I pick something, it's going to track just that, just that person. See, so I'll show you. We're just going to follow him, went through the sign, and then uh, that was probably about 40 photos right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do what's called object tracking and that is lock on autofocus object tracking. I'm gonna choose one right there, okay? So now you see that it's just gonna track and it's gonna probably go, oh, yeah, ski across in front. This is what I wanna see. Okay, so that's the interesting thing is that when the skier crosses in front and I'm gonna wait until uh, somebody comes down. So, Focus tracking, you see that big white square right there? I'll do it again, there we go. So now, we're on this guy, and he's gonna go, watch, behind the sign, probably. Stays on him. So let's pick this guy right there, see that square? And just follow him. So, in order to get the fastest autofocus, I'm going to put it on aperture priority at f4. You see right here uh, where it says 3200. Um, I want to have pretty fast uh, shutter speed. I could also go to shutter priority here like this. And then I'm going to pick, see on the left, I'll just go ahead and dial in so it goes all the way up to whatever I want it to be, uh, ISO. All right, one four thousandth of a second at f4. Okay, so my ISO is at 400. That's too slow. I'm going to put it up at auto ISO. So it'll pick the ISO that I'm going to need. Okay, so now I'm at one thirty-two hundredth of a second. I can go up to four thousandth if I wanted to. And then now that's going to give me four thousandth of a second. Okay, then the second part is if I just have one subject that's going to be on the screen, then I can just track that subject as long as my finger is down it's going to hold that subject all the way through. Uh, but if I, I'm going to get a subject that's going to be confused among others, then I'll do this kind of tracking. See now that squares around that guy? And so no matter who comes in front or who goes or if there's a sign or whatever, it's going to follow that one person. So let me just, I'll go regular and I'm just going to track that person as that guy goes right into behind the sign is kind of fun. Again, Pick the subject, and then as long as your finger is down, it's going to hang on to the subject. And this is, that's the test of the autofocus speed, is we've got somebody coming at us, which is predict predictive servo autofocus, and then we also have lateral left and right. And so I'll show you again. And this is fully racked out at 200. So the relative speed at which that skier is coming to toward me is really fast. We'll do it again right here. Okay, so let's see. It's going to pick that one, and then it's coming at us. There we go. And there's really not much to it. Um, it's just going it, to, it's very simple to do, actually. You just get it on to track the one subject. Now, to do uh, lock-on autofocus, uh, it's called center lock-on autofocus, and you'll see right here I have where it says on. It's going to ask me to find whichever of these things you want to focus on, and then it's going to put a grid across that and hang on to that, that one thing. 
Alternatively, you can just wait until your subject's alone, and then it will go ahead and pick for you. So, we'll do this again there. Coming at us, and let's track that skier. 11 frames per second. Up on the top left here, you see it's on high. Okay, right there. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to speed everything up. I'm going to turn face detection off because it would then be looking for faces. And then I'm going to go over here, and then there's f uh, focus mode. You want autofocus continuous, not still, or not single shot, because single shot will lock it, and it won't do that predictive autofocus thing, what we call servo autofocus. And then that's pretty much it. Let me get this out of black and white. So we'll go clear, neutral. Okay, so let's do some more shots. Let's look for a fast skier. I want someone really fast. Okay, that's that guy right there. No, that guy right there, okay? This guy's really booging down the hill and coming at me, crossing in front, crossing behind, going behind. Now, see, hung on to him, and uh, it starts to hiccup like that because I've filled up the cache. Uh, we'll do it again. So, we'll just say, just wait until that red guy's in, okay? So now... I'm going to start firing. Someone just walked in front of me. Now that more people are going to walk in front of me, I just did. And then, okay, now we're going behind the sign. And a bunch of skiers crossing in front. That's basically the technique. That's how to set it up. Track, and then keep your finger down. And those sprinkle things all around those little snowflake looking things are called phase detection autofocus points and those things will track.